<laughs> Dr. Ruth, are they teaching neurofeedback at the college level in Canada more so than in the United States? Does anybody know? Not that I'm aware of, Pete. Okay. No. Because we have what University of Texas at San Antonio. We that that's the only program in in the United States really that's being recognized. Uh, that, Saybrook University is is a, an accredited university, and they have an applied psychophysiology program and a mind body medicine uh, a, a, a program uh, with uh, uh, different uh, course tracks, uh, uh, some towards clinical, uh, you know. Uh, uh, licensure and some more, uh, uh, just a skill set that you learn mind body medicine, uh, without necessarily a specific licensure track. So, um, uh, and people with a license can end up adding on that skill set without having to go for another degree, uh, uh, necessarily oriented towards a licensure because they already have it. Because a lot of lot, a lot of uh, people are saying that you have to go to this, through psych get a bachelor's in psychology first, then a graduate degree level, and it seems to me if you can just learn to be a tech, I mean, in, in the U. No, no, Seaver. <laughs> I I always I always tell people don't do what I did. You know, right, right, uh, right. I, I, I urge people to actually get a good degree. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not just I mean, Jay is an exceptional person and he would have gotten here no matter what. But it, it but he's also not working with trauma firsthand. Right. He's going to open an office and work with somebody who's in tears and who is uh, in a situation of domestic abuse and working through all of the ramifications of being a trauma survivor. You know, he's helping us by showing us what's going on in the brain and how to help the brain, but how to help the person is the degree, right? That's, yeah. and that's what is vital. Um, I, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't treat uh, trauma survivors, uh, particularly um, people with developmental trauma, early childhood abuse and neglect, and neglect is the bigger factor of the two, as awful as abuse is, neglect opens the door for abuse. But the but neglect doesn't allow you any way to organize your brain. And the um, that I wouldn't uh, treat anybody with that kind of history without psychotherapy. I think that's a fool. I think that's unethical. 